Atlanta's Georgia Dome is now a thing of the past. It only took 15 seconds yesterday for 5,000 pounds of explosives to bring down one of the country's largest domed stadiums. And as our John Keller explains, the stadium has seen a lot of history. Good morning. One of the great things about living here is the respect we have for history and for preserving historic buildings. But it's not like that everywhere in America. There goes the Georgia Dome, a modern 80,000-seat stadium in Atlanta that was the only facility to ever host an Olympics, a Super Bowl, and a college basketball Final Four. But the other day, it was raised to make room for a brand new stadium at the tender age of 25. Why would a city dump a stadium that young after spending hundreds of millions of dollars to build it? Keep in mind, the decision isn't that unusual. Seattle, Miami, and Minneapolis have abandoned relatively young stadiums in recent years. And 21 NFL stadiums have been built since the Georgia Dome opened in 1992. Unsurprisingly, it all comes down to money. The Georgia Dome's replacement will have more expensive luxury seating, and the city's new baseball stadium will have major development opportunities on the land surrounding it. Plus, places like Las Vegas are showering teams with piles of public cash to set up shop in their city, an enticement that leaves cities like Oakland, which refuse to pay that ransom, out in the cold. And make no mistake about the gleaming new sports palaces tapping into that windfall. They're not exactly catering to Joe and Jane Six Pack. Which brings us back to Boston, a sports mad city that has resisted the trend toward public funding of stadiums. Part of the reason? We appreciate the history of a place like Fenway Park, narrow seats and all. One of the reasons why we're lucky to live here. Share your opinions with me via email at Keller at WBZTV.com or reach out on Twitter at Keller at Large.